Bro. Bro. What? Yo. Those are bullets, bro. Those are bullets. Wait, 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 wait. There's something black right there. Yo. The h is that? Whoa, 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 whoa. It's supposed to be like some kind of warlock or something? But it's okay. That is okay. What's that? Yo, there's something on there. Hold You're not insane? You stapled pictures of a YouTuber that wants nothing to do with you no more. Yeah, did you see him come up? Well, I did try to call you once, but I was just calling to say be careful. Oh my God, he's playing I see you. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right. Dude, get the hell out of here. Eyes of the org. What if she was in the org? Oh my God, what if Debbie was in the org, bro? Bless our home, but look at there. Boom, 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 boom. Eeny, meeny, miny, org. All right, guys, we are hot on the Randonautica trail. Same day as the last video. Um, I just left the area where I met a woman named Deb. Very nice lady. She was a dime. Still, yeah, she was a dime. Still wearing the black gloves from the last video. Finally, I know you guys are probably saying to yourself, it's about damn time, Jody. Oh, somebody was doing donuts here, look. I love donuts. I haven't ate one in a while though. Um, <laughs> tea and scrumpets. Guys, smash that thumbs up, comment below, share this on social media. Um, spiritual awakening is the intent. And this is coming from Pascal. Pascal. Uh, we used to have a, oh shit, wait. It says turn left here. You can't turn left here. Hmm. Well, I should have backed up and... I mean, unless you wanna... Well, maybe I could park... Well, I don't wanna do all that. I'm gonna turn around and go back and park over here. I think. Let's see. We used to have a mean, evil person in our life named Pascal. Uh, but this Pascal that suggested this one is a, is, is a nice, nice woman. So, um... Got to get over here in this little patch, huh? Spiritual yeah. awakening? Yeah, right by a swamp, huh? Yummy. You think I can drive this? through this? No. Look. Hey. Why not? My huh? God. Why not, right? Why don't you just pull through right there? Whoa, the there spot. we go. Yeah, let's just pull right into a parking spot. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's looking like, what an idiot. Uh, it's okay. Hey, it's not the first mistake I've ever made. It won't be the last. If you want, you're more than welcome to turn the truck around. <sighs> You'll be able to keep an eye on me. All right. Well, um, I'm off to see the wizard. So I'm off to have a spiritual awakening. I'll see you later, alligator. Shouldn't have said that. I might see an alligator now. <sighs> All right. Uh, if you watched the last video, this place I'm at now is probably eh, 20 minutes from where I was. I'm gonna turn clock close, not clock pros proximity. I can't talk now. Close proximity on for the next one. When we use close proximity the way we use it, usually it can keep us five or 10 minutes from a location. So we'll see what this area has to offer. And they, if they don't have anything to offer, then hey, we're gonna leave that bitch, this bitch. All right. Hmm. Spiritual awakening. I'll tell you what. This looks like a great place just to maybe right under this tree right here. Just throw down a blanket, bring the boom box, you know, put on some some acoustic folk music and have some ham sandwiches and uh, just relax. I don't get to do that enough. I love to do it. Just, you know, hey, I'm out here grinding for you guys. Grinding for the family. 
So what you got to do though, man, you got to you got to make the most out of this life. You got to you got to enjoy the ride, but you also got to hustle very hard to make sure that you know, when you're long and gone, your family can enjoy the ride. At least that's my goal. Hmm. Spiritual awakening. Where are you? Where are thou? Mm. I feel like it's getting a little soupy right here. Really enjoyed uh, the end of that last video. Met an awesome awesome woman while random nodding left her a little gift uh the downside to it was uh you know frogger showed up as usual i say that but i mean it would be so awesome if you know one of these videos it's just not the huge it sucks when you get to a point when you're like when's it gonna happen he should have been here by now you know it's just his routine it's what he does you turn on the app he goes mad I've been saying that I'm going to do some of these adventures without uh, using the app, and I'm a damn liar. I haven't got to do it yet. I love using the damn app. I'm addicted. Uh, it's not that I'm a liar. It's just I, I do. I like using these apps, man. I do want to try that one day, though. I want to try and not turn on. Uh, I don't want to turn on Randonautica. I don't want to turn on Scaranoia and just see if like we could go to a just pull up on a pretty place and 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 find anything cool wow that's pretty hey maybe that's a spiritual awakening look at that so calm hmm i just almost fell asleep standing here looking at it all right Back to work. Back to work. No slacking on the job. When I see a nice tree, I really have to pee. I really have to pee. When I see a nice tree, I really have to pee. I really have to pee. He, he, he. Bow to your knee. When I pull up, yeah, you know it's me. Sippin' T.G. Ali, bitch, it ain't free. Milk cost a lot, no, she ain't a thought. Yo, her name is Debbie, and she lookin' ready. When I see a tree, man, I really gotta pee. What the shiny hell is that? <gasps> oh my God, I'm so sorry. I just heard something. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Oh my god. I will literally. Oh my god. This is in 2013. Feels like something's in this. What the heck is that sound? Somebody's like listening to some opera. Spiritual awakening. It don't get more spiritual than this. Than the main man, G-O-D. We're only eight minutes into this video, guys. Eight minutes in and we found our, our first intent. Uh, it happens. What the heck? Why is somebody blaring opera? Hmm. Um... So I have no idea where I'm at, so it's hard for me to tell you where I'm at, but uh, you know what, we'll, we'll, we'll show Alicia. Then I'll just set it outside the truck area. Very cool stuff here, guys. And I'm wearing gloves, you know? I mean, that's a, that's a big, ste big step up. I'm maturing a lot in these videos. There's a black truck, I ain't gonna tell nobody. All right. 
I found something pretty quick. That was a fast one. Somebody's listening to opera. HTD for lifers. Follow. Are you tired? Look like you just took a nap. All right. So, um, look what I found. Yes. Yeah. Where was it? He's hold oh, he's holding a little nugget. Oh, he's holding a little nugget. Oh, um, it's God. <laughs> um, it was in a tree. <laughs> That's the weird part. If you guys are new to the channel, what I do is scary treasure hunting. This isn't scary, this is beautiful, this is majestic, this is amazing, just like all of you guys. Um, what's that? You had a feeling like somebody's watching? Well, it's funny you said that because that red truck just pulled off to the side up there. All right, look, I'm setting this right here, hopefully for another rando nodder. Um, I don't, what? Who, the red truck? Yeah. Okay, okay. Sat there and then the oh, that'd be interesting. They're, they're switching up the colors of the vehicles now, huh? Okay. All right. We'll see. So. I seen a black truck come out. There was a red truck, so. Uh, this guy was chilling. Like, yeah. literally, he was, like, coming this way. Yeah, that is weird. Yeah. He's pulled off to the side all these parking spaces. And, hmm, I think I'll just sit here so I can. I think he's a peeping you know? Tom because there was some lady walking right there, and he's, like, backing up watching her and i was like hmm. bro if you try that lady i'm gonna try you because you're about to get you i wonder if your name is tom and you're a peeping tom what do you call him then is it still peeping tom hmm yeah that makes sense all right all right look at these people with the white dogs that's sketchy they're probably gonna take the the jesus picture all right film straight for me for a second here i gotta put this seat belt on um, uh, well, should I pull over and see? Give it a second? Pull over here. Hold on, guys. Let's just see. It was odd. I'm telling you, when I had a bad vibe, it was... Everything is odd. This is When you really find bad. a picture of God. All right, guys, we are heading to the next pen point right now. Clearer over here, not as busy. That could be good, right? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I'm just so weirded out. Why well, you think that there's something gonna go down here? I do. Vibes, man. Vibes do a lot, you know? There's a lot of them out here. I mean, this is the kind of place that it, it's beautiful. You see a kid's park, you think, oh, there ain't gonna be nothing happening here. And it's like, oh, I don't know about that. Alright, well, I will get out. I'm leaving you the gun, hun. Number one with the buns. Alright, lock it. Cock it. Huh? Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Message from the org. Like, we care. Uh, but I do like to use intentions that uh, supporters give me. Especially those people membering up. Being patrons, what's that? Uh, it looked like a pipe, but it's not. It's just a, whoa, it's a little stick. Huh, it's a good stick. That's what she said, okay. All right, it looked like it was straight out here. Messages from the org. I think I've had about a, enough of those for a lifetime. But Nancy suggested this, great supporter, going on about two and a half years now. Thank you so much, Nance. I am not mad at this view at all, or this nice little nature hunt here. Only thing that I'm cautious about more than the org is snakes. Haven't really been seeing no spiders in this weather. 
which is really good. Uh, looks like there's a little trail back there. We'll have to check some of that out because it is within the pinpoint. I'd say that it looked like the pinpoint is probably about like right here. So. It sounded like somebody moved in there. Hello? Is it interesting? Listen to that crunch of the leaves, isn't that nice? Nice little leafy crunch. We found spiritual awakening. Now we just gotta find messages from the org. Of the org, from the org. I forget how it was worded. Anything that has to do with the org. How about that? Oh, why does this look sketchy? Oh, let's go. Going into the jungle now, baby. I feel like we're living dangerous. Because we are. <laughs> All right. Fuck. I think there's somebody in these woods right here. Hope not. Whoa. Oh, it goes back through there, huh? Hello? Hello? Where the hell is the bell coming from? This is a big ass park. Ain't no church in here. Where the hell am I? Alright, hold on. Looks like the trail overgrowed that way. Hmm. That's sketchy. Oh, and it's overgrown this way, isn't it? Shit. I don't really want to go through there. Something creepy back there, too. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the fuck is that? Why would there be a little ch child's chair just out here in the woods, bro? Tell me that's not sketchy. Look at this. Let me do a 360 panoramic view for you guys. What the hell? What kid's going to be sitting out here in the middle of the damn woods surrounded by pythons and gators? Sketchy. Very sus. Okay, let's go back this way because I don't want to get too lost in the sauce. Jesus. They're going to start calling me Jungle Jody. Jungle Jody, Jungle Jody. Shit, I even got a fucking theme song now. Jungle Jody, he's the man, he can't do it, no one can, Jungle Jody. Sounds stupid, but I just want to keep singing, Jungle Jody. Alright, let's see here. <sighs> All that, and I didn't even get a tick on me. What a rip. Call this the jungle. There's the park. That kid's chair back there. That's a little weird. Is that a message from the org? I don't think so, but... 
whoever's got their kid just chilling in the woods is a damn sicko. This ain't no campground. This place is surrounded by swamp. Signs all over the place that say watch for huge gators. Okay, it doesn't say huge, but it says watch for gators. If they were baby gators, why would they tell you to watch out? I mean, they might take a finger, but I don't think they'd be like, Hey, watch out for the baby gators. Might lose a pinky. Ain't taking my pinky. Pie. Ain't taking my pinky pie. All right. Message from the org. What? They finally have given up? Yay! Yay! The org is quit. No more org. Yes, no more. All right, that theme song sucks. I like Jungle Jody better. <gasps> Tell me that's not fucking Yasko. I'm going to quit right now if that's Yasko. Oh, it's fucking Yasko. Jesus. All right, Yasko, I guess I'm gonna quit random nodding too. I am so sorry, bro. Well, I guess that means they're here. They were here. That watch looks good over that black glove. But anyway, um. Fuck, man. Oh, there's a vehicle right there. Some more trouble. <gasps> picture Jesus man huh maybe the org does have money they printed out pictures ink's not cheap bro I'm gonna have to uninstall Rando and reinstall it. And we should be good for one or two. Uh, I'll go ahead and switch, while she's doing that, I'll go ahead and switch to Scaranoia app, my app. Which by the way, you can download in your Google and Apple Play Store. The way the apps work are, are, are very different, but I suggest that you download Rando Nautica and Scaranoia app, both very great apps. They're both, you know, going to get you guys more healthier because, let's be honest, in order to do these adventures, you got to get a little bit physical. Um, you know, the motto for my app, the slogan, I guess, is my app will get you out of your house, out of your mind, and into the world. A lot of people, they get locked up in the house or they've got disabilities or social anxiety, maybe, you know something this physical barriers maybe they don't have anything at all man they're just scared to be out in the world and i don't blame you you know i'm scared to be out here sometimes too but uh these apps they'll, they'll put you in places where opportunity can be found and that is exhilarating that is mind bending and, and life altering so uh what a cool park damn i want to play here but I better go because if I don't, I bet you Frogger shows up and says, Will you swing me? Please swing me. Swing me now. <laughs> Sorry, ask Jesus Christ. All right. Well, look what I found. Yes, that red truck came by again. The red truck did? The red truck came by. No, uh. -uh. Yeah. You wanna hear something very creepy? So I went down one of these trails back here. I ended up in an area where there's a little kid's chair surrounded by like Python Everglades looking territory. Where's the kid? I, I don't know, but who would have their kids sitting down back there is the, main, the big question. Um, Dude, I'm paranoid that truck came by again. Yeah, no, I'm a little paranoid too. I'm very paranoid because yes. maybe the red truck's behind this. Somebody took the time to come here and do that. They obviously hacked the app. So I need you to uninstall Rando, reinstall it, wait five minutes before you try and reinstall, 
and let's go ahead and switch to Scaranoia app now and get up the next location. If the next one's compromised, we'll change areas, okay? All right, guys, once again, we are back on the Rando Trail uh, using Randonautica, using my app, Scaranoia app. You can grab my app right now in the Google and Apple Play Store. You did say right, right? Yes, I okay. did. All right. A darkness beneath. A darkness beneath. Um, this took us, what, like 12, 15 minutes out the way? We're going to have to turn on close proximity for the next one. Uh, is that a dead end? I was going to say, it looks like a dead end. Hmm. Well, hold on. By the way, it, we're, look guys, we're right by a cemetery. Go figure. Oh, I don't know why the apps do Christmas. this. Oh yeah, they sure did. Um, pinpoint. Let me stop right here. Pinpoint is about right there between that little cluster of trees. Uh, a darkness beneath, guys. I, I, I don't know. Um... This is coming in from, is that Tamara? Tamra? Tamra. I think, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Tamara, Tamra, whoever you are, thank you so much. I'm sorry it took two months to get to your intent. Uh, lock it. By a cemetery, huh? You know where this is? Uh, this is close to the cemetery where I proposed to Alicia at. Uh, that was in a Randonautica video. Yeah, it was actually my second proposal. It was the second ring I got her. The first time I ever proposed, uh, got her a nice ring. There was nothing wrong with it, but uh, I stepped up my game big time years later. <laughs> and I got her a big dog, big dog. All right, uh, so pinpoint right here, a darkness beneath. Now, uh, let's think about this real quick. We're at a cemetery. Uh, bodies are beneath uh, the surface. Is there a darkness here? Would I find it? I, I have no idea if that's what this uh, intent is hitting on here. There's a lot of ground to cover here. Can't go 500 feet that way. That's the shortest uh, expansion. So, um, you know what? Fuck it. We'll start on this side and work our way around. Let's go around like a clock. Uh, let's see if there's anything significant. Maybe on one of these trees. I'm seeing a lot of that. I'm not just talking about creepy drawings, but I'm talking about upside down crosses, uh, evil things. Would that be beneath? No, but a darkness beneath. When we, when we talk about darkness, does it mean evil? I would think so. Um, what is that? Oh, you know what? Damn, I got gloves with me. And I forgot to put them on. Go figure. Actually got gloves and didn't put them on. Sounds like Jody for you. <laughs> Very beautiful day out here. This is the best time to do rando knotting. Best time of the year. But yeah, darkness. Um, a darkness beneath. I mean, if you were buried down here in this dirt uh, in, a, in, in a coffin, that would be dark. Doesn't mean evil. I just always, whenever, I know people know what I do, so when they suggest intentions like this and use the word darkness, immediately my mind goes to the, you know, the demon stuff. And it is quite unusual that it hit on a cemetery. Or did it? I don't know. I mean, it hit right there where those trees are, and there's all that forest over there. Whatever the case may be, hopefully we, we, we find something, man. That's what we're doing. We're out here looking for that scary, scary, that sketchy, sketchy, that creepy, creepy. And why? I don't know. Um, you know, I started out doing paranormal stuff about 14 years ago. And uh, maybe 14 years and some change now. And I just fell in love with ghost hunting. Um, way before YouTube. You know, when Alicia and I would just do it just as a hobby. Just for fun. Uh, 
didn't expect anything to ever come from it and uh one day uh, a friend of ours we we heard you know some success stories they were having with like youtube and alicia was like wow you know you've always said that you i i pretty much did work for myself but she was like you know you always said that you wanted to not only work for yourself but you wanted to you wanted to do something that would allow you to do everything you want to do meaning like right now i'm working but i'm also doing something i like to do i'm getting in some cardio I love nature. I love traveling. And uh, she was like, you should try this YouTube thing. So, you know, I tried it. And just like anything, I <laughs> I put 210% in. I don't know how to half-ass anything. So when I started doing YouTube, I was posting, God, three to four videos a week and a live stream every Thursday night at 9 o'clock. And uh, I was faithful, faithful to that. And uh, one day it just, it, it, it blew up. And not only was I able to do what I love to do and, and make a, you know, a career out of it, which I never thought this could be a career. It, it's actually become quite the career. <laughs> uh, but I was able to uh, have enough success early on that I was able to invest in any in other things that, that truly were my dream. Wow, there's a little path. But... No, we're not doing that. Hmm. Darkness beneath. And there's something on the ground right there, too. Might be garbage, but it almost looks like a children's toy. That's creepy. I'm not going to cross this person's property, though. So, Alicia's idea of me doing YouTube just uh, changed our whole lives. Our lives were great then. They were great. Uh, they're just great to her now and and we got you guys a part of them. So it's it's been an amazing journey And if it were to all in tomorrow uh, It's been a hell of a ride that I've enjoyed so much and Alicia too. And we love you guys so much It's a lot of fun doing these adventures I think a lot of YouTubers say what they do, they love what they do, and you know, if you took the money part of it away, they wouldn't love it anymore. If you took the money apart away from me, um, I would still love it. I would still do it. I just probably wouldn't be able to do it full time. But, uh, you know, Randonautica was really life changing. I thought the paranormal was life changing. The darkness beneath piece of barbed wire that somebody could get cut up on. Randonautica uh, made me so much more healthier just by constantly getting me out and uh, and seeing area that you just wouldn't usually see. Like, you know, who ends up at places like this? For sale, 7.5 acres. Wow, I wonder if there's, what did I just see? Citrus Memorial Hospital. I wonder if there's a, an abandoned hospital back here. Wouldn't that be cool? I'll call that realtor and ask her if I can throw her a few bucks to let me film it and check it out. Because when we're talking about paranormal stuff, haunted stuff, I feel like all hospitals are, are haunted. Anywhere somebody dies or is buried. Oh, now that's not sketch at all. Piece of glass sitting on this bench. I don't want some kid to come sit up, sit down on there and cut themselves. What's that? If you guys haven't uh, seen all the videos on the channel, go back. Uh, if you got a day off or some extra hours in the evening, go back and, and just binge 
some of the older videos and, and see how this whole thing came about how it transpired and uh it's pretty remarkable you know the way i remember it is alicia and i were um we we're doing paranormal or i was doing paranormal video oh what was that i just heard something move was that somebody or something hold on But I was doing paranormal videos and um, a friend of mine was like, my friend Rochelle, she was like, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm doing a, a Randonautica video. I was like, what the hell is Randonautica? And she explained it to me and I was like, oh my God, that sounds fun. I didn't even know it was a big thing. <laughs> and then I do this video and it just got an insane amount of views. I think to date it's probably one of my most viewed uh, rando videos, not my most viewed video. Uh, some of my big videos got, you know, millions of views on them, but uh, We gave it a whirl and people People loved it, but my main core fan base was like, hey, I'm not here for this rando thing You know, I'm here for the paranormal And I think we did a few rando videos and and then we just quit and uh, we quit because We loved doing it even though we only did it a few times but you know we didn't we didn't want to put out content that people didn't want to see and, we, and our, our core fan base was with us from the beginning so like six seven maybe even eight months went by and i tell alicia i'm like dude i had so much fun when we made that rando video um you want to let's go do some and she was like, yeah, just record it and put it out. If people like it, cool. If they don't, you know, Jody, you, you spent your whole life trying to make everybody else happy. They're like, do what you want to do. Like, yeah, you know, that makes a lot of fucking sense. And uh, I was like, well, you know, I still love the paranormal stuff. I said, what if we do this rando thing, but we use some paranormal intentions? Then it's a win-win for everybody. They want paranormal. I want rando. Let's try it. And at this time, I thought the rando buzz was died out, even though I seen uh, the homie Yasko. He was, I enjoyed watching his videos. I loved when, because he would do nighttime stuff, and I've never cared to do nighttime stuff. I have bad experiences every time I do it. So I was like, for me, it was like, whoa, you know, it's cool. I can watch him do that. I can do this. And I actually really became a fan of what rando nodding is. Hooper. <laughs> wonder if he was a hooper. Um, so anyway, seven, eight months, whatever it was, goes by. We do a rando knot video, it blows up. We do more rando knot videos, it blows up. And at the same time, the same time that it's blowing up, uh, we encounter a stalker. Yeah, that's how long this shit's been going on for. And while we're falling in love, is garbage with randonautica uh we're learning how to deal with the new situation and then we got supporters that are like uh whoa holy cow the fuck that's dangerous somebody needs to put something over that Ugh. It's a doll. Bro, I seen that little bait. I thought that was a thing. Okay, that's my foot. I thought that was a finger. What the fuck? Oh, oh my god. This this stick is attached to my foot and I thought something was crawling behind me. Shit. Freaked my own damn self out. I don't feel anything in it. I don't think this was, I, this has probably been here forever. Still creepy though. A darkness beneath. I don't know, it was underneath some leaves. 
there is a thing about dolls, but um, I'll show it to Alicia. Anyways, um, so when we started doing Randonautica, there was so much going on. So much going on. There was, uh, you know, the supporters that had been watching my paranormal stuff that wanted nothing but that. Uh, so there was a little bit of, I don't even want to call it haterism, but we, we really did find out who our real friends were because a lot of people we thought that were like our friends and stuff. They're like, if you're not doing paranormal, we can't have anything to do with you. And I'm like, that's crazy. Like, I thought we were actually friends. So wait, as long as I'm doing something you like, we're friends. But if I do something you don't like, we're not. Hey, what's wrong? Oh, okay. She's on a call. I'll show her in a second. I'll keep telling you guys. Um, so... So we lost some people over it, which I guess was a blessing if you think about it, because you don't want nobody in your life that doesn't want to be in your life. Um, hey, check out what I found. Sorry. Everything okay? Take that phone call. <laughs> Alicia's gonna have surgery in January. We won't yes. go into details. I got something that's going on. Look She's got help. something going on. Jesus Christ, uh, <laughs> when it rains, it pours, but that's okay, because we're happy. Did yeah, is so. Who is that behind us? What? Uh oh, dude! What the fuck? What the fuck? Bro, what was that? Bro, what was that? Why was he looking like that? Why is it a truck? Tell me it's not gonna stop right there. Is it stopping right there? Fuck. Is that cool? I cool my ass. I'm getting ready to fucking jet out that way unless he blocks it off. What is he doing? Is he just turning around? There's no way this is happening, right? <laughs> fucking happening. What? Really? Are you okay? Yeah. Uh. I'm about to jet that this way. This is some crazy shit going on. Let's drive through the Go. Yeah. Yeah, why is he acting What's weird, dude? Bro? Here, film straight for a what second. What the fuck was that? I don't know. Now he's now pulling what over are you where doing, we were. Dude? Hey, hold on. There's a way out of here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a road. Look, 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 look. Look, right where we were. What the fuck is this? I don't freaking know. I'm sitting on my surgery paperwork. What the fuck? There's a road right there. See it? Yeah. This is creepy. That was extremely So I found that um, back by that fence where he turned around. Anyway, I was kind of explaining to them the story about how Randa Nautica came about. We did it. We went away for six to eight months, uh, came back, and not only did... Uh, I don't know what he's doing. Not only did I want to do it, but you wanted to do it. And that made me more apt to doing it because you had never really been in videos. You weren't really... Well, I couldn't do the whole ghost thing with you because it's just not my really cup of tea. I mean, I like it, but... You get like, scared real easy yeah. of that stuff, so, yeah. And, you know, now we're able to spend more time together and... Well, I was going to say, you know... Dude, I'm freaked out. Like there was many good things that came from Rando and it was a less toxic field than the paranormal. The paranormal field, especially that... I don't know what it is now. I, I, don't, I don't pay attention to none of it. Uh, I watch Twin Paranormal once in a while, but um, there's too much. Drama. The, the paranormal feel was just so toxic um, that this was like a blessing. It was like, man, nobody's hardly doing Randonautica, and the people that are, you know, what kind of beef can you have about Randonautica, man? It's just like in the paranormal field, everybody wants to debunk everybody. Everybody wants to say I'm the better investigator. Blah blah blah. It's just a a really weird thing. So. Bottom line, this app was just life changing, man. And um tell me how weird that was. That was weird. Like literally, did he see me out of the truck was like, oh, what is this girl doing? And decided to like Well, like he thought you were by yourself? Maybe. Probably. I don't know. God. Um, I'm gonna have to uh come back online in a second. I have no idea you don't where think we're going. A tracker in this thing, do you? Oh, I didn't mean to take it. I was just gonna show it to you. Here, let me pull over in this business. Guys, we'll be back on here in a second. 
All right, guys, we are heading to the next one now, Hand of the Lord. And this is coming from a longtime supporter that I thought had, and maybe they have at this point, which most likely they haven't. Um, this intent is two months old, Hand of the Lord by Jory. Uh, this guy has been around since, I wanna say since I had like 14,000 subscribers, so a long time suggested this a few months back I don't know if he was just popping in the channel and throwing an intent out because uh, I don't ever see him in the chats but uh, hey we eventually get to people's intents so Jory thank you for that hand of the Lord uh, usually I just like using the scary ones but it seems like we find so much spiritual stuff that I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a chance oh, I see a turtle. did you see a turtle uh, okay. It says turn right here. And then make a left. Right and then a sharp left. Oh, yeah, right by the white van, huh? Yay. Um, I'm gonna park right here so we're not right next to that white van. I uh, make the left go down 500 feet. So, I don't know what's around that bin and you're only gonna be able to see me for a minute. Um... Yeah, maybe it being a nicer intent uh, won't, won't be so bad. All right, lock it up. Oh. Sometimes when I'm making these videos, I feel like I'm making ASMR videos. All right. Yo, 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 yo. I gotta talk a little bit louder because somebody's playing music. All right, so from right there. To about where that big gap is right there. I guess I'm within the pinpoint right now, so I'll just go ahead and start looking. Well, let's see what that says, hold on. hand of the Lord all we got to do is find something spiritual so I mean if uh, it's July 25th 1539 Captain Moscosa is leading Hernando de Soto's army north from the village of Tacast to support the Soto scouting party passing near a large lake we were met by messengers sent by de Soto they told us the scouting party had been attacked by a small force of native warriors and we were to return to Kotest. To Kostast? I don't know. To Kotex? I don't know. Later in the day, we received a message to send 30 horsemen ahead as reinforcements. We have now been ordered to make our way north across a great swamp. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff in here. The Indians succeed in killing several Spaniards, decapitating them as promised. All right, we won't go into all that. You guys are more than welcome to pause some of this. Uh, here's some depictions right here, some of those warriors. Uh, so this area right here, we're on native grounds. This place looks huge. We might wanna use more than hand of the Lord here. Um, so we'll see if I find anything for this one. And then, uh, it's like two footprints, big ones. And then we'll, and then we'll possibly move on guys. Okay. Let's see. Anything spiritual. People over there are playing volleyball and they're taking it really serious. He's like, yeah! <laughs> Looking at the little kid and be like, in your face, in your face! Kid's like 11 years old. Whoa. Hmm.
squirrel. Anyway, I still need a story about how we came back to Randa Nautica and, and I'm so glad that we did. It's one of the best things I ever did in my life. Um, and I'm so glad that we got a lot of new people in our camp and probably the most faithful supporters I've ever seen. Lots of real friendships here. And uh, that's awesome that this platform and something we love doing is something you guys enjoy and and we enjoy doing it together. Mm, there's people down there. Beautiful view. I had to look in that hole like a damn freaking baby doctor. What's in your hole, ma'am? All right. What is that? All right, safe is it? Let's put that over here. That's all we need is some kids to start messing with that shit. A lot of people over here a lot of action going on so I'm gonna try and get in and out Stumpity stump, bumpity bump. Now everybody do the humpity hump. Stumpity stump, bumpity bump. Now everybody do the humpity hump. Jody on the scene again. I'm on the green again. I'm back, baby, trying to get in between again. She's like, oh my God, girl, what did you see in him? She's like, oh my God, did you see me then? I'm like, girl, all I can see is friend. Guy was just looking at me over here like, hey, what's he doing? He's messing up our game. Don't you be random nodding around me. Some people take their, uh, their sports very seriously. I get it. I take what I do very serious, so. We don't fuck around when it comes to these videos. No siree. It's the last thing we gonna do. Ain't nobody messing around here. What is that? Look at that. Hey. <laughs> A beautiful dog though. What the hell? It's a cross. It's made out of clothespins. Hand of the Lord. Looks like he's putting his, his hands. I mean, I know 
he's to the that's what they're trying to depict but the hands are coming over the cross right here that is very very creative I've never seen anything like that in my life I was a little skeptical when those people were walking up by me their pit bull was getting really close and some pit bulls are, are super sweet they're big babies but I was attacked by one when I was a kid and had to have plastic surgery at five years old so if I'm a little hesitant excuse me um just makes me wonder if there's why would this be here is there anything else here maybe so all right we'll take this finding things pretty quick here today which is a good thing however I'm trying to bring you guys two hour long videos so I better <laughs> I better start dragging my feet a little bit man you know what I just noticed too I mean, probably I only see it this way, but that makes a cross. If you look at it that way, boom. So. Symbol on the ground. All right. Now, they really did look at me when I got over there. That old man, the glasses, he looked through the bushes and kind of gave me this look like, you messed up my spike. Oh. So, so, so sorry. I'm so sorry I messed up your spike. Oh, so sorry. Oh. Oh. Right. About nine minutes there, guys. Found something really cool, actually. Alicia, if you could let me in, that'd be cool. Yeah. All right. What I found. What is that? Well, it's a cross oh, with okay. Jesus on it, but it's made out of clothespins. That is odd. Isn't that odd? That is odd? I don't think we've ever found anything made out of clothespins. That is very creative, right? Creative. <laughs> That's I what I said. <laughs> could build a house out of clothespins, maybe. Yeah. yeah, maybe maybe they'll just build a whole nativity set out of these. Maybe that's what they were doing. The the question is, is why did they make this and why is it over there? You would think they make something like this, they probably want to keep it, but I don't know. Uh, definitely leave comments in the comment section if you would like this I will mail this to one lucky person all right uh, says this whole grounds over here was the grounds of where Native Americans back in the day uh, Indian warriors uh, they, they did a lot of killing here yeah, yeah so uh, we're going to go down our list of intent think of something really good maybe we'll skip a few weeks ahead I know people are really eager to hear their intents um, and then I'll come back online guys guys. It's uh, the next day now and We've come about 30 minutes out of the way. I had to go see a, a doctor here this morning and This area before I think it has produced for us time to time uh, Of course, it looks like we're in a different part of that area now Yeah, it looks like it wants me to take a left yeah, it says it's a service road on the map. Demonic evils. Demonic evils. Uh, where's the service road at? It says it's right here. I see it. Oh, it's right there. Hmm. Okay. I can um, back in right here. And... Yeah. yeah Why don't that. you do that? All right. Um. You switch with me. I'll take my phone. Uh, be patient. And what did I say, 400? 450. 450? All right. Sit down and make a left. I got you. All right, I'll just walk through this way then. All right. Another beautiful day out here. Been getting been getting lucky on this Florida trip demonic evils I don't know if we'll get lucky with this intent though
kind of place you find snakes and gators, oh my. Wow, leaves are beautiful right now. ground to cover here we're within the vicinity of the pinpoint we're just working our way to the core of it wow I uh, started writing a script for another movie last night. Came up with the idea days ago. Um, we are set for production on Mallet Part 2 uh, to start filming in March. Uh, but this new script I wrote, man, oh my God, it is amazing. Amazing! I, I want to do it. O almost want to do it so bad that I, I told Alicia this morning, I said, should I do this and push Mallet 2 to a later date? Like make people, make people wait a while for that? And uh, she said, I think so. She was like, I think you should do this new script. It's that good. <laughs> uh, but I, I, I love Mallet. I love mallet and it seems like people love mallet so i really got some some weighing out to do and i'm not finished with the new script either it's that good that i'm not even finished with it and i'm like damn maybe i should do this No, Daniel son. Looks like he's about to do the, the flying hyena. What are you doing? Are you on drugs? You're acting a little weird. You're acting a little sus there. You're acting a little sus, Gus. You all right? What the hell is that? Is that a defense mechanism? Got his damn wings out like he's about to fly a karate kick or something. All right, I won't get no closer. It's fun. It's all right. I don't want none. My bad I'm on your turf, bro. My bad, Ese. You don't want none of this anyway, puta. All right. Let's see. Some swamp in here. Oh, man, we're on some dangerous grounds today, huh? We're probably not even supposed to be here. This is off the radar. Still got his damn arms up. It's about to be a gang fight. Gang fight? Wow. That looks, uh... That looks swampy. There's something going on down there. I ain't trying to go down there. Let's see what we got over here. Looks like somebody's getting ready to plant some vegetables over here.
fuck? What was calling? Oh my god, tell me this ain't frog boy. One, two, three missed calls. Three missed calls. No caller ID. Unknown. 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 I think we probably know who that is. Oh, yep, there's another one. Hello? Hello? Hello, best friend. I was having a great day. Did you just call to ruin it? What do you want, Mask? No, you can't go on a random not with me. Not now, not ever. You can say please. You can say whatever you want. No, you won't ever leave me alone. You're lying. It's what you do. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good, man. If you want to leave... No, I'm not telling the truth. You don't tell the truth. That's not in your nature. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. You love to lie. Yeah, I'll get you. Uh, I'll get you some brand new shoes and a happy meal, and um, you know I'm gonna hook you back up with Sam, and I'm gonna do all this nice stuff for you. You know, just because you've been so good to me. What? Fuck Sam, no, 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 no. Fuck you. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Well, just when you think that, you know, your day can't get any better, mass calls and uh, everything doesn't get better. All right. The hell is that? Little rabbit home? Demonic evils. Could be a damn possessed alligator out here. Oh, there was a turtle that just went under. Yo, gang. Not that the turtle's in the gang. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle gang. Alright. Got a bad feeling about being here. I'm worried about an anaconda coming up out of here or some gator. If I was a snake, this is where I would want to be. A snake just called me, so we know that there's snakes within the presence. He wouldn't have called me if he didn't know I was random nodding. It's facts. I turn on the app, whether it's my app or, or random nautica, and uh, they start showing up, they start calling, raining and falling. Raining stalkers, can you imagine that? Wouldn't that be a sight to see? The stalkers falling out of the sky. Hey, we're here to stalk you. <laughs> Isn't that great? No, it's terrible. Please leave me alone, Mr. Stalker. No. Don't you dare. I want nothing to do with you. Please. What the hell is that? How the hell did I not see that? I'm not Shaquille O'Neal, I can't reach that shit. Why the fuck is it raining dolls? Look, it's legit raining dolls. And she's a nun. <gasps> Yo, she's got some creepy eyes. Well, I think that's some shit that right here at the friggin' pinpoint, there's a, a, a doll, and it happens to be a nun doll. Just seen the nun movie a while back. The nun part two, crazy film. Get damn leaves off her. All right. 
I respect women so much. I even respect a, a, a woman doll. <laughs> Get those leaves off her right now. Don't you treat her like that? Oh, a little blue-eyed demon. Don't you want to go swimming in the pool? All right, stop. Um. Whoa, that one eye is a little creepy. A little creepy eye action, huh? Look at that. Sometimes when I get upset, I look like this. Yeah. And then sometimes, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, demonic evils. I don't know. I do believe that dolls are one of the most haunted objects that you can encounter. Some of them. Using the intention demonic evils and finding a doll, especially a doll with a nun costume, does make you wonder. I heard somebody walking over there and I don't see anybody. Okay, we know what that means. Wow. In this video, I've been finding things a lot quicker. Better be careful. We might not make it to two hours, man, at this rate. No, that's good, though. That means the investigative skills are... Well, no, they're not too good. I walked right past it, and the thing was just in a tree, and I missed it. I walked right past it, like... Duh, I didn't see anything. Let's go do some spirit talker. See what happens. Alicia's gonna be like, why'd you bring that to the truck? Why, Jody? God, just touch everything. Damn right I do. You damn right I do. You damn right I touch it all, baby. What are you doing? Look like you're you're heading to a log cabin out in the woods somewhere. Yeah. Little forest hooker. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. All right. Hey, you won't believe what I found. <gasps> oh my God, I found a doll. No. Here's what's crazy. I did see a turtle. Here's what's crazy, crazy. She's a nun with creepy eyes. Yeah, look at her, dude. The way she, her eyes move is almost human. -like. What the fuck? Did it just blink like when you? That was weird. It was You've weird. You've seen that, right? I... Okay. So it's just probably the way they're weighted. Goes. Yeah. All right. Um. <laughs> fucking mass called while I was out there. I know. Yay. He's See like. Many... Can I come Look in? How many 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 I know. I've seen it. <sighs> All right. Come on. Come on. It's gotta load. Come on, there we go. Uh, is there something attached? My name is Margaret. Right away, oh bro. Oh, <gasps> turn that up, turn that up. Yo, gang, what? Jesus Christ. My name is Margaret? You didn't see there was a name on there, did you? Like, you know, people in grief, they're like, whatever. Margaret, are you a demon doll? What was that? It sounded like something was climbing on the roof of the friggin' car. Watch right. what I do right away. Right Responses. Away. And when we Watch what I do. The bump. Yo, what? Margaret, are you a demonic evil? Dude, that's crazy right away. Telling you what its name is, telling you what it's going to do. Tell me who I am. What are you gonna do, Margaret? Got a crazy feeling, don't you? Is that it? You're gonna tell us your name and what you can do? 
but not do it? Well, we heard the thumps. Or was that you doing the thumps on the roof? Are you cold? What the fuck was that? You know, I heard what sounded like walking over there from a distance, but I couldn't see anybody. These guys, I hate to give them any props at all, and I don't want to call it a prop, but they're very good at stalking people. Like, you know, like even though they're dumber than a box of rocks, even though they're a few nuggets short of a Happy Meal, they're still, please believe us, it says. Please believe us. So there's more than one of you. Please believe us. They're still, even though they're 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 dumb, they're smart. Isn't that a weird thing? They're good at what they're good at, and that's with a lot of people. Like you know, there's certain things like I'm good at that you're not good at, and there's a lot of things you're good at that I'm not good at. You know, like you're great at understanding contracts and paperwork and legalities. Um, I'm not bad at that stuff. I'm good at responding to it, but you're great at the you know the technicality of it. Um, but where I'm great at working a camera and editing, you know, you basic, I'm okay. you basic, I'm okay. um, bitch. you basic bitch. Um, <laughs> who's please, please believe us. Who is us? Give me something else, Margaret. Margs. Margot Robbie. Is that you say her name? Oh. Girl who played Harley Quinn. Played Barbie. Barbie too. She played Barbie. She played Harley. We are apprehensive. Wow. Yeah, I've never heard that before. We were we're standoffish. We're cautious. I know, but I stand like that sounded good. We're standoffish, we're cautious, we're so obnoxious, we're toxic, we're coming through the Why do I sound like him and him? We're so obnoxious and cautious about to start a mosh pit. Sorry. You okay? No. <laughs> she was looking like she was about to get violated. Um. <laughs> <okay>. <laughs> we are apprehensive. Please believe us. Watch what I do. My name is Margaret. I I guess that's I guess that's oh, it. That um. Should we leave this doll here? Will it cause us any trouble? Any problems? Probably. It's a it's a plane. They're flying over us. They know we're vlogging here. You know this thing was in a friggin' tree. Tree. Yeah, I walked by and I, I mean I was looking eye level and low level, but I still walked right past it and didn't even notice it at first. It's not just me here. Well, that explains. It's not just me here. That explains a lot when you say so please us. believe us. Wow, we might need to do more with this doll. Might need to do a little bit. Oh, you can ship it to uh, Fort Gaines. Hmm. People like texting you. Okay. Well, hey, it's been nice talking to you, Margaret. We're gonna go ahead and let you guys, you guys go, not just Margaret, but whoever else is here. Uh, thank you so much for communicating. If that's what you did. All right. Um. Yo. Yeah. Just. You know what, I'm going to get out. Yeah, I was going to say, get out and put her in the back of the truck. Let's don't ride with her in the front of the truck. I don't want to hear a demon clawing through the ceiling all the way to our next location. That'd be, that'd be pretty creepy. All right, guys, we'll come back online here in a second. Um, yeah, man, if you're about midway through, go ahead and smash that thumbs up. If you don't know what we're doing, we're looking for that scary, scary, which means our next intent is going to be something terrifying. Something terrifying. Let's see what we can find. We're gonna turn right. Okay. Right, right, right. Guys, we are on to the next one. We're about 45 minutes away from where we were. We did two and they just didn't check out. So I probably won't put them in here because when I say they didn't check out, I mean they took us to somebody's house and that was pretty boring. Uh, phobias. Phobias is the intention. 
think we found something there a long time ago. Phobias. Yeah, that was like the first year we started randonauting, I think. A lot of those memories are off my head. <laughs> We've done so many randonauts now, it's hard for me to remember. Not only that, I'm telling you, COVID really. Yeah, COVID we did a number so on our memories. Um, okay, so it wants me to turn right on this street. Obviously, there is a fence blocking it. Um, it looks like on the app that when you get to the back of this cemetery, there are a lot of woods. And it looks like the road ends, but the path continues. So... It's an old ass tree. Once you get to the end of that road, it looks like maybe the pinpoint is 10 feet out. It's it's very close. So, I'm going to assume I can probably get to this. I'm going to turn this vehicle around so I can see and get okay. out easy if I have to. I'm leaving the, the firearm with you. Okay. Um, because you left yours at your dad's, right? Okay. I'm going to leave it with you. And, uh... Just keep your phone on. I don't have great service out here, but hopefully I'll be able to call you through Facebook if I need you. Okay? Yeah. All right, I love you too. Lock it up. There's already a car coming. Are they gonna go and turn off? Yes, good. All right, just making sure. Okay. So there's no point in looking until we get to the closer to the pinpoint to make sure we're within the radius some of the cemetery will be within the radius obviously but I think I came here a long time ago when I was uh, when I was doing just paranormal stuff yes I did oh my god yo I did come here a long time ago the haunted shed bro I forgot all about this yo I need to get down here, but hold on. That was a lizard. Yeah, there was something about this shed, I forget. But a long time ago, when I was ju doing just paranormal stuff, didn't even know what Randonautica was. I came here, and I think it was like my K2 meter was going off like crazy around this thing. Um was hearing noises and, and, and we captured some really cool voices like through the spirit talker. That's crazy, bro. I knew this place was familiar, but I didn't remember why. The haunted shed. Makes you wonder, you know, like sometimes in these cemeteries, like there's just unmarked graves. It makes you wonder if they put this shed on an area where somebody never got a proper burial or doesn't have a tombstone and you know maybe it's extra haunted because they want to they want to have a tombstone okay down the end of this road and 10 feet off looks like this road goes around so i'm going to assume where it goes like that because it looked like it went straight to the woods or it could be this pathway too shit there's actually a pathway here so this might mm. it looked like this though it looked like on, on the app it looked like the road went like to straight to a a dip a roundabout of course I say a roundabout and it only showed a little round part it didn't show that the road continued again though it's not like the app was working seamlessly over here because the internet's poor in this area okay so uh, if the road ends here 10 feet out 10 12 feet out um hmm I can only really walk about 10 feet from it without getting into some heavy, heavy brush. Uh, phobia. Could be... Could be the woods. I think there's people out there that have phobias of the woods. 
personally, I, I don't feel at home as much as I do anywhere than I do at the woods. I feel in, I feel at home in the woods. I just seen somebody move back there. Take one crazy person to go trucking through all this though. Maybe eyes are playing tricks on me. Whoa. Well, hold on a second. It looks like there is a pathway through there. Is there another entrance to it? No, oh, there is. All right. That's why you got to be investigative. <laughs> You're one of Randonautica. We might have showed up here and, and just... Uh... Eh, not that one. Eh, not that one. Hmm. Oh, well. Felt like I seen something again. Year one around Randonautica, we would show up places and we weren't as... Whoa, motherfucking snake, bitch! Yo! Woo! It's a fucking snake, bro. You seen how that thing went? Fuck. Holy shit. I knew there had to be snakes out here. Damn. Okay. Thing took off quick. All right, well, I just about almost shit myself just then. You guys know I don't like snakes. I don't like spiders. Um, holy fuck. It almost acted like it was gonna, it took off like it was going that way and then kind of circled back like it was gonna come at me. Now I really don't want to go down there, fuck. Phobias, snakes, there we go. Hmm. How can I go? How can I go? Did it take off, take off, or is it waiting to get its spot back? Hold on. Shit. My heart's racing. It's going bum, 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 bum. Let's see. Hmm. being cautious guys I know I'm a sissy probably was just a black racer but I'm not a I'm not a fan I think we might have already found phobias <laughs> wow holy shit what's back here dude Now I'm all nervous and sketchy. I'm not sketchy, something sketchy. Oh my God. Yo. This is wild. This is within the vicinity of the pinpoint, so that's why I'm checking it. 
this is off the grid if something happens to me back here I'm done uh, nobody's gonna come looking for me back here I don't know if this is somebody's property or anything Cactus, I mean, somebody was driving back here. Hmm. Very nervous. <laughs> Call Alicia real quick. Fuck. Discard. A picture I was editing. I had to discard. Hold on. Hey. hey so I've walked through a path that obviously I wouldn't know exist I just came in contact with the snake and snake. Uh, it, it took off it scared the shit out of me but look where I'm at right now what kind of snake was it look at this that looks crazy but what kind of snake was it I think it was a black racer it looked like it was all black mm. um so maybe you know but whatever I, I didn't get bit or anything but uh shows yeah I don't think you're gonna get lost out there yeah I see some wood here don't move it phobia I was telling them I mean the the phobia the intent could be um the snake the woods spiders I don't see none, but yeah, that's Spider definitely a definitely a phobia of mine. Now I hate to break some unwanted truth to you, but um, my battery's on thirty four percent. So if for any reason it dies while I'm out here, if this is native ground and it sucks the battery dry, um. I'm gonna need you to I'll walk back up closer and you're gonna have to meet me with the battery if it if it gets there, okay? Gets there. Yeah. All right. All right. I'm looking around. Uh just be on standby. All right, I got one. All right. This is just sketchy as can be. I got a real bad feeling about just being here. Hmm. That kind of looked like that circled around. I think it does. All right. We're going to get back, guys. We're going to get back and check the other sides of the pinpoint. This was probably a, a bad move. 
I do want to say this. What is up with these cemeteries having these sketchy offbeat areas attached to them? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I've noticed a lot of cemeteries we go to, the pinpoint's barely in the cemetery. Like, it's usually on the outskirts of it, just outside of it, in the woods around it, not, you know. Like this one. Shit. Super nervous. I don't know why. Just got a bad feeling. See, it looked like that road curved around, and maybe it did. It just didn't look promising the way I was going. Kind of scary. <laughs> we encounter some incredible stuff together. You know that, guys? I hope you know that. My doctor uh, watches my YouTube channel. And she told me that She's never seen somebody put their life on the line as much as me. And I said, uh, what do you mean? And you know, I, I, I understand a little bit when she says that, like I do, like even that right there, probably shouldn't have done that. But she was like, you know, you step in areas, you go in areas, you're looking for things that I would never dare look for. If I was an insurance agent and I had to give you life insurance, she said, I wouldn't give you life insurance because you know the kind of stuff that you do and encounter situations people things and on top of it you know uh I've had a little bit of a medical condition going on lately ended up in the hospital a few nights ago having severe abdominal pain uh made a post on the hunting the dead facebook page about it and i'm sticking to it i'm not gonna not ready to put out there you know what's going on just got a second opinion today and uh the good news is is it's it's looking a lot better than it did um so uh, i'll just leave it there but you know you would never know that anything's anything's wrong with me right now uh because i'm just a happy person man and you know, I'm not saying I'm going to die or anything like that. Guys, I might live to be 80, 90, 100 years old. Um, but I, I, I just want to say that, you know, I'm the kind of person that if they told me I had three weeks, three months, three years, whatever, uh, left to live, I'm the kind of person that wouldn't be living any different than I am because I live every day like as if I was dying, making the most out of it. And that's why I love these videos. And that's why I, I do love... The rush I get from doing this stuff. I enjoy it. But it was it was crazy to hear my doctor say some stuff like that. That my videos scared her and that my life scares her. <laughs> but she ended up saying that like, hey, you know, like the good news is, is she's like, you're healthy as a fucking horse. You just, you know, you have... 
possibly an underlying issue. And I'll stop there because I don't want to get too deep into it. I just seen something. What is that? What the hell is that? Yo! Whoa! That's ceramic. Dude, I have found some. Thought I heard somebody move. Sounded like somebody was out there. I have found some clown stuff before, but I have never found anything that looked as creepy as that. Well, people do have... People do have clown phobias, phobias at clowns. So, I mean, we could say that our intent besides the snake thing could, could be this for sure. Yo, what the fuck are you looking at, man? Hello? Oh, okay, it's not mask, huh? Let me see, uh, quiet one, what were they called? He said, stealth? Oh, you, <laughs> okay, what, did they cut your tongue out too? Did you put this here? The pinpoint was over there. Why were you over here? Oh yeah, you don't talk. So that's it. It, oh my God, he's wearing a fucking picture of Yasko. <sighs> All right, <clears throat> whatever. Guy walks like he's got a stick in his ass. <sighs> so mask is the loud, obnoxious one with the frog voice. This guy's the quiet one. It just pretty much watches and follows. I know you guys haven't seen Slim T in a while, but my mom said that he's been by the mansion with a briefcase. Got Black Jesus. Keep an eye on them, they'll hit you in the back of the head. You can just stop. Yeah, he's bigger than Mask. Skinnier, but bigger. At least he didn't show up till the end of this. You know what, that, that is scary though, because when I was out there, in those woods in that big roundabout area. Were you watching me? I bet you're watching, huh? Yeah? Just looking at me? What were you doing? Weasel whacking? 
Just observing? Observing, huh? Yeah. All right. It's hard to pay him no mind. Just imagine if you're in the situation. I know what a lot of people would do. <laughs> a lot of people would do. A lot of people would do something crazy. Pow, pow. Oh no, you're locked in the cemetery. Oh. You go quiet about that, okay? I go 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 guy guy. You go go guy guy. Oh, I can do that too. I can walk towards you. Take that freaking thing off your face. Stop messing with him. Leave me alone. Turd. Why do you talk late? Here. I oh, can't I, I help can't. it. Here. Why? Why this? Here. Well, you know why, Alicia? Because until somebody is dealing with it, they will never understand. And it's hard to keep your mouth shut. That, keep your mouth shut. This? I said, why is this? Why do you have a this? In because that's what I found. Why are you not locking I bring the door? it to show to you. Yeah, you do. Taller and skinnier. Why are you looking at Yasko? I'm having a stare contest. <laughs> All right. We don't got time for this. Oh, there's some guy on a golf cart up there. Pause, I think What's he doing? Up. Okay. Hey, keep your eye. Keep your eye open. I am, but I think I'm gonna throw up at the same time. Here, don't film me throwing up, please. What? All right. Uh. <coughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm good. You sure? Okay. All right. I don't know what this guy's doing right here. We'll be back on in a second, guys. Fucking dick telling us to get out what? of there. It's a cemetery. What if we had somebody that was but a I'll family person that was loved? What? He's going after that guy. So I mean. Yeah, if you can find him. Probably already out of here. That's crazy. That's weird. He's like, you guys know you're not supposed to be here. No, I no, I'm not supposed to be here. It says no I trespassing across the street. Do it doesn't say it on the fucking fence. Oh, I think I had too much sugar. But you okay? Think, well, I'm not supposed to have so much sugar and I drank that pomegranate juice and I had it loaded with sugar. Oh wow. So All right. I thought well, it was an ass. Yeah, it exactly. was. Guys, we are hopefully heading to the last location of the day. Hopefully without any problems. Um, hmm. It says turn left, but on the map it says that this is all woods. So I'm hoping that we're not being hacked right now. It said if I turn left, I would turn right into the woods. It says go 500 feet and make a left. 500 feet and make a left. White van. Yeah. Terrors of the darkness is the intent, guys. Terrors of the darkness. Come on, people. We got a random knot to do. What's going on here? Huh? Don't make me call Aunt Angie. I'll call her. All right. See how the app's glitching like that? Weird. That means somebody's trying to get our location. Fuck. I uh, hope it's an internet issue and not a hack. Internet, 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 please, please, please. It's brought us in this area before, but it's never brought us this way. All right. And I can't keep going. Shit. Um. Okay. Well, okay, it says 500 feet, make a right. So it was 500 feet, 500 feet, and then make a right, and it's 75 feet. Right, let me get a sip of this drink. All right, you come around. Get to the driver's side. 
terrors of the night. This looks sketchy. Huh? Hey, lock it as soon as you get in there. I tell you that, then I hear you not do it sometimes. Jesus, why is it so filthy? Looks like I'm going to end up in those woods. Possibly. Hmm. God, look how dirty it is, bro. A little gutter swamp action right there. That's nasty. You know what? I think that it's brought me over here before a long time ago. I think that it brought me over somewhere by those dumpsters down there. All right, 500 feet. Um, okay, got to keep track, ain't got to be exact, but I got to keep track. Hmm. Something down there looks like it's shaped like a snake sticking up. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh shit. Oh shit. I don't know if you guys. I don't know if the camera caught that. There was just somebody standing behind that tree looking at me over there. Fuck. 500 feet. Almost. Oh, that's a branch. Somebody put a cart down there in that ditch. I think it's about 500 feet. And look, what do you know? There is a pathway into the woods. Pretty sure it's brought me here a long time ago, but I think it brought me in right there. I don't know, these woods look different though. Maybe maybe I'm thinking of another place. I've been a lot of places. What the hell is this? No, I'll tell you guys right away, there is somebody standing behind a tree over there. So I already know what time it is. It's either Mask or the quiet guy or whoever else they got, I don't know. Um, I don't care, I'm not gonna let it stop me. We're gonna uh, get to the pinpoint examine observe and hopefully we can find something yes I'm annoyed some filthy individuals living in these woods bro and if they're not living here it sure looks like they're trying to okay it's mask I just heard that freaking frog voice God, he's still wearing the Yasko. Fuck. Okay, so if the pinpoint is here, 500 foot, um, not for him, but for you guys, Terrors of the Night is the intention. Terrors of the Night. Fuck. There's a bunch of stuff. He's still wearing Yasko on his face, bro. Wow, this is really mazed out. Hey. I hear you, you're Yasko, congrats.
No. Nope. Oh shit, looks like somebody's been living back there. Oh, somebody has been living back here. Oh my god. Terrors of the night. You come in here. Dude, you might want to be fucking quiet. Somebody might try and jump both of us out here, dude. There's somebody shacking out here. Why are you why are you carrying that? Oh yeah, it just broke on you, haha. -ha. Make it break. You guys are so full of shit. I made it break. Yeah. Yeah, you're talented, man. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I tell you what, you take my flank, you stay way back from me, and you and you random not the back, you make sure that I don't miss anything. How about that? There you go. Yeah, I think that sounds fair. Wow, somebody's just claimed these dirty ass woods, bro. He's hitting a tree. Oh my god. This is terrible. He just threw that at me. Yes, she did. Stop lying. You don't think I know you guys want to hurt me, bro? Come on. Thing is, you guys want to hurt me, but you don't want me to stop doing this because then you won't have a platform to show that your little organization, your little freaking goofy ass organization exists. It's all you guys got. That's why you're upset with Yasko. Because he stopped giving you a platform. Keep throwing something at me. I'm gonna throw something at you. Huh? Did you hear that? Yeah, I, I heard you throw that big ass stick right at me. Yeah, it hit the tree. And you know what would have happened? If it would have hit me, I would have chased you. You would have ran. How about if it did? It didn't though. These woods are sketch, bro. <laughs> Do what? How about no, and we say we did? Every time he shows up, get him a happy meal. Need some brass knuckles. You were gonna throw it at me. Go ahead, throw it at me. I'm looking now. No, be a man. I don't have nothing. Yeah, exactly. Is that your friends? I just heard people over there.
<laughs> so funny, I forgot to laugh. Tons of shit out here, dude. I'd love to come here and not be stocked. I mean, I, I, I don't want to touch any of this stuff, but there's a lot of stuff out here. There's a lot of stuff out here to examine, and maybe some of it might be significant in some way, shape, or form. If it's not um, terrors of the night, it, it could be... Uh, Could be missing per items of a missing person. I mean, there's a lot of stuff out here, bro. <clears throat> I guess you're gonna tell me. Huh? Yeah, you must be. You must be high. Hmm. Yeah, somebody's done so much trucking through here that they've kind of created their own little, like, homeless paths. Oh my god, I've said it 20 times. You guys have hacked my phone and obviously my vehicle. You know what the antenna is. Why ask me? I'm not playing that I'm not playing that game with you. I hate I don't see you I see you but you don't see me. Whatever, that game's stupid. Stop wearing that dude's face, please. I'm the asshole, though. You're... <sighs> you ain't Yasko. You're an asshole. Little asshole. You should go get a job at the strip club. Because you know you like that dick love. Because you're a dickhead. Terrors of the night, terrors of the night. Um, it's never as simple as we think it is. It's always more, you know, a lot more technical than, than we realize. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Um, what, are you afraid they're coming for you? <laughs> you look like a crackhead for a second. They're like, oh shit. Coming to get my crack. <sighs> hmm. <clears throat> Dude, why don't you just box me? Next video, I'm gonna get the gloves, and if you don't box me, then just then just stop. All this trying to act hard, bro, is not working for you. You said that eight months ago, so I have the gloves. Yeah, because the only thing that's been holding you back from fighting me is boxing gloves. <laughs> it's not funny. If I give you a pair of gloves, you better box me. Get 
I'll wear gloves, you wear gloves, that's fine. I'll have Alicia film it. <gasps> yo, yo. Shut up. It's what I freaking find every day of my... It's a little owl. It's almost, what's it say, Greenbrier International? Dude, I think I walked right past that. Can I have your hat? You gotta have your hat. You gotta have it. No. You can have a free trip to jail. How about that? Why would I do? If there was an if there was a law against being annoying, you would have broken it a billion times. Uh, yeah. You know what? I'm not even gonna worry about shooting this tire. He said, why did I throw that? You've been watching me on 360? How'd you know to come over here? Uh, all right. Well, Mass showed up on this one. Those woods are crazy, bro. There's like all kinds of pathways. It's dirty, it's nasty. Looks like homeless people have been shacking and hacking and clicking and clacking and barebacking and everything else. Barebacking. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, it, it is, it is pure terrifying i found a little wooden owl i was gonna bring it for you to see but my oh, nerves no. are, are rocked let's get out of here please. yeah um yeah, i was watching you guys uh, <laughs> i hope you enjoyed this you investigation this adventure uh what a day on the rando trail uh film straight yes. for me for a second uh two stalkers today the quiet guy and the loud guy go figure the worst of both worlds um yeah so we'll be back in a few days with a live chat live premiere we love you guys so much uh i always hate for drama to be on the channel but there's just no control over it so please i ask you smash that thumbs up comment below share this on social media uh we'll be back in a few days but until then sweet nightmares guys we love you we all live we all die but it's what we do while we're here that defines us in the name Every day is a memory, and it's up to us to make the most out of it. What's your story? Yeah. I feel like they hate me cause they not me. Or maybe cause the girl just wanna give me sloppy. I seen a hater last week when I wrote a tweet. But seen them out in public, they ain't want no fucking beef. I'm a hustler, been this shit since I was yay high Used to be that cat, slinging dope in broad daylight yeah. I ain't go to Harvard, I ain't graduate no. Learned to cook bass before I went to ninth grade Hacks. I'm a YouTuber, now I got them really mad They like, fuck Jody, how we always get the bag I came up from nothing, proud as fuck to be alive Stab, shot, burn to death How the fuck I never die Finna ride, finna die Finna sip on my St. Ives Finna ride, finna die Finna sip on my St. Ives Finna ride, finna die Finna sip on my St. Ives Finna ride, finna die Finna sip on my St. Ives Woke up in the morning I was standing in the trenches Standing, standing in the trenches I was standing in the trenches Woke up in the morning I was standing I, I was standing in the trenches, I was standing in the trenches I remember touching dope, 
I remember having hope I remember teachers told me I was nothing but a joke Man, my life was on the ropes Then I started selling coke Guess my father never cared He was always just a ghost Dog, I almost took a L Last run I ever did When I sold 200 rocks And I almost caught a bid When that cop got a call Then he said he had to split I remember crying, saying, God, I'll go legit. Finna arrive, finna die, finna sip on my St. Eyes. Finna arrive, finna die, finna sip on my St. Eyes. Finna arrive, finna die, finna sip on my St. Eyes. Finna arrive, finna die, finna sip on my St. Eyes. Woke up in the morning, I was standing in the trenches. Stand, standing in the trenches, I was standing in the trenches. Woke up in the morning, I was standing in the trenches I, I was standing in the trenches, I was standing in the trenches